What's up everybody, my name is Phil and welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. In today's video, we're going to show you how to remove some scratches and maybe even some light swirls with Turtle Wax Scratch Repair and Renew. So I know you must be thinking, really? Turtle Wax? Well, a lot of the products have come a long way. I still have yet to review the new Seal and Shine sealant that everybody's raving about. So I'm gonna grab some and I'm going to do my own review on that also. But Turtle Wax sent me this. It just showed up in a box one day and uh, I'm gonna give it a try. So the Turtle Wax Scratch Repair and Renew is uh, I guess basically a scratch remover and it says it has a new heal and seal technology so it will take care of scratches paint transfer swirl marks it has precision platelets that safely remove scratches swirls paint transfer water spots and more it repairs years of damage in one use so i don't know what the precision platelets or the heal and seal uh technology is all about but we'll give it a try so on the back, it says that it will safely remove imperfections, self-aligning platelets, permanently remove light to heavy scratches up to a hundred, no, up to a thousand grit, swirls, paint transfer, water spots, and more. Protective resins deposit a barrier for permanent paint restoration. So maybe an all-in-one. It's got some protection in it. Safe and effective by hand or machine. No experience necessary. Well, I Hope you have at least a little bit of experience, but we're going to try it by hand and by machine. So I have my Porter cable with a three inch backing plate and little three inch compounding pads that we'll use to remove the imperfections that you saw on my vehicle. And uh, for use by hand, dispense a small amount onto a foam applicator and then use gentle back and forth motions, pressure for 30 seconds, reapply if necessary. For use with the DA polisher, same thing, apply onto the foam pad, use light pressure around 1500 RPMs, um, reapply as necessary, wipe with a dry or damp microfiber towel to remove any excess. So pretty straightforward. That's really how scratch removal works anyway. If you're going to use a compound, use a compounding pad or a microfiber disc and uh, that's how you do it. So, you know, the packaging is actually pretty nice on this and uh, built for the consumer, really designed for the consumer, where they can hopefully use this pretty easily on their own vehicle. So we're going to use it on the ultimate paint, jet black, swirled up, scratches, light scuffs, not really paint transfer. I don't have any paint transfer on here, but definitely a fair share of swirls and some scratches, some that are pretty deep that I'm going to see what this can tackle. So let's give it a try. So here we have that light scratch. This is on my driver's side fender. And uh, I was gonna tackle this scratch in a different way. You saw how I tackled one of the other scratches up here on the fender, where I actually did some wet sanding, filled it in with paint, a lot of steps. So let's see what this can do. So microfiber applicator, gonna shake up the product. Now I already cleaned everything. Everything is nice and clean and dry. It was actually clay barred, so it's all decontaminated and looking nice. So, see that scratch right there? Let's focus in on that. We'll apply that much for now and see what happens. So I'm doing basically what a consumer would do, back and forth. Go in a cross hatch pattern. And I am putting some pressure, some medium pressure on there. I'm gonna switch hands because my arm is getting tired. All right, let's wipe it off. It wipes fairly clean. Now, you still see it, right? Right there. Yeah, it's pretty deep. So, 
doing it by hand, perhaps not the best idea. Let's apply a little bit more, be a little bit more generous with it. And I'm really going to focus. That's a lot. I'm really going to focus on this scratch. I'm just going to go aggressively on it. Really apply some pressure. Can't see what I'm working. Ah, there we go. Apply pressure right over the scratch. Huh. Okay. I know this is not fair because consumers are not going to have this, uh, you know, light to do this. But you can see, look what it left. Yeah. So you look at it without the light. Yeah, you can, you can still see it. You can still see it a little bit there. But it is starting to go away a little bit. But you are left with marks like this. And, and that's normal. That is just normal. That's what's going to happen. So let's do this. I have a wax and tar remover. And I just gently go over the area with it. It's going to remove any fillers, anything that might be in there. Show the true condition of the paint. There. So again, you can, you can still lightly see that scratch. Ooh. But that's what the hand pressure does. It's, it's uneven hand pressure and that's what causes that marring. But for a consumer, you know, they really wouldn't see that. And I put my reflection in there so it kind of focuses in on that, that scratch. You can kind of see. But it's starting to go away. All right. Give it a fair fighting chance. One more application. So let's do one more application. And I'm going to go in an aggressive circular pattern. Again, something that a non-detailer would do. I'm really going to give it some pressure. You focus in on where that scratch is right there. I'm going to lightly go over the area, very lightly. Again, wipe it off. This towel still has a little bit of the wax and grease remover. Now that scratch is starting to disappear a little bit. In fact, you can still see it in the camera there, but the light is not hitting it. What it's done is rounded off the edges of that scratch. So again, just to show you, it's going to leave, it's basically a compound. So all of that pressure, yeah, you can kind of see, you see the finger where my fingers were. That's just going to happen. Scratch is still there. However, without applied light, not bad. You could see it pretty bad before. So that's what this product is designed to do. I think as a consumer, if I was to look at this panel, I'm looking at the panel now and I don't see it at all. So now I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Only under certain light, if I was to show the light on it. In fact, I'm having a hard time finding it right now. There it is, right there. Okay, so it's right there. But really hard time finding it. So a consumer would look at this and say, wow, it worked. Great. Um, you, know, you put lights on it and that's what happens. See, 
still there, but even the other scratch that I wet sanded and filled in a little bit because I didn't want to go too aggressively. It's still there also, see? But without the light, you're barely going to see it. You barely even see it in the sunlight. But you see the scratch is still there. But you see all this other horrible stuff too. And people aren't really going to see it. So let's try machine application, see what that does. So the scratch is here somewhere. <laughs> it's actually uh, pretty hard to find. So, oh, there it is. Yep, you can just see it right there in my arm. It just showed up. So in the right light, it shows up. I have my Porter cable. It has a three inch backing plate and I just have like a foam, kind of like a buff and shine orange three inch pad on here. So let's apply it like I usually do when compounding areas. Put a little bit of product on there. And I'm gonna spread it out like this. Start on speed three, spread it out, bump it up to like five. And I'm gonna cover the whole area. But go slow on the scratch. So working that product in, I actually felt pretty nice working the product in. And let's check it. All right, so a lot better. You still get a little bit of hazing because it's a compound, so you're getting some hazing. But the scratch right there, still there, but only if direct light hits it. Let's bring you in closer. So there you can see some of the hazing from the DA, but you see the finger marks are gone. So hazing and stuff can be polished out pretty quickly. There's just a, my fingerprint that I put there. You can see, yeah, the little micro marring it's called from the DA. Because this is a, an aggressive compound, basically. But you can still see the scratch there. But it is very, very light now. Very, very faint. The light makes it look a lot worse. But really, it's barely noticeable. I know, you can see a lot of solvent pop, right? In this paint, this is a repainted panel. You can really see it. All those little like puck marks in there. Yeah, it was a badly repainted panel, unfortunately. All right, let's go a little further. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Actually, that's probably a little bit too much, but that's all right. It's really doing a good job at removing the scratch. Uh, it's like right there. Super, super light. Very, very faint. So you could barely see the scratch now. It's right there, but it's really, really faint, really light. Again, we could go further, but I'm not. I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to switch over to a finishing pad using the same product and see what happens. So now I just put a black foam pad, nice finishing foam pad. I'll apply just a, a little bit like that right in the center. And I will polish this entire section here where I compounded. Wipe away is nice and smooth. See if it has a polish. 
All right, not bad at all. Look at that. It took away the majority of the micro marring. There's still a little bit there, so I'm gonna go a little bit further. So guys, you be the judge. There's still a little bit of micro marring because this is a compound, essentially. So there's a little bit of micro marring still left. The light just really brings it out. However, there's the scratch. It is extremely light. It's really Barely noticeable without the light. You really would not see it at all. In fact, when you look at it with just fluorescent light, you can barely pick it up right there. There's the where the scratch was. You can see all the solvent pop in the badly repainted panel here. So if you remember what it looked like before, you really do have to search for it to find it. But using this uh, basically as an all-in-one, not too bad, right? Not bad at all. There's the scratch. Really, really reduced. Yes, I know, there is still some micro-marring in there. I'm not really worried about that. This is a consumer-grade product, meant to really be applied by hand by you know, non-experienced people, those who just want to remove a scratch, as it says here, no experience necessary. So that was the type of results you would get if you remember before where you could see the finger marks and things like that. That's just typical. However, the product did its job. It actually really did a good job at removing the scratch and yes, it's still barely there. If you want to go further, you could. You could probably use this to remove wet sanding scratches. I'm not gonna go that far with it. I'm going to keep it as it is because I am happy with that. I would just leave it as that. If it was my own vehicle, I wouldn't go any further. Um, I would be happy with that if I was a consumer. Of course, being a detailer, if it was a customer's vehicle, I would of course go further and refine it and really try to get that scratch out without compromising clear coat. Very important uh, that we're gonna talk about in a second. So guys, here's a good example of some heavy swirls on my black vehicle, black paint. And we're gonna use the Turtle Wax Scratch and Renew first on just a black finishing pad because this stuff is pretty aggressive. And that's all I'm gonna use, just a little bit on the finishing pad. And let's see what it can do. Pretty decent. I have to say that it definitely removes some heavy, heavy swirls. Yeah, not bad, right? Huh, interesting. Here, let's direct the light a little bit. Yeah, not bad. You can see it definitely left some micro marring though, even with the black finishing pad. Yeah, just a little bit. It's having a hard time focusing on it there. So now you can see it definitely left a little bit of micro marring. But again, a micro marring you barely see with sunlight or even with the naked eye, I, I can't really see that micro marring there with the light on it. I really can't see it. You can really only see it in the camera because the camera is so sensitive to it, it picks up that, that light. But from a distance and with the naked eye, you really do not see it at all. So here are some heavy, heavy swirls where I haven't polished. 
But here, this little section is where we polished. And as you can see, it got rid of the heavy, heavy marks. The really bad swirls. But you're left with deep stuff. That's, that's just what happens. And I only used a finishing pad. So if I was to use a compounding pad, it would get even more out. So let's try the compounding pad. Put a few drops. And let's see how well this can compound. There we go. That out right there. So, can it get out swirls? Yes. While it does leave its own marring behind. This stuff is pretty aggressive. Yeah. So, it got out the heavy stuff. So, let's go back and refine with just the black pad. Did it make a difference? Yeah, it made a little bit of a difference. Still a little bit of hazing there. However, it's not a finishing polish. That's just not what it is, but it did get heavy swirls out. So yeah, that's, uh, you, look, you can even see the, the line here where it stopped. So you can see heavy swirls here and yeah, it, it did get them out. But see, you are left with minor micro marring from the DA. This would look a lot worse if I applied it by hand. So Turtle Wax, your scratch repair and renew product, definitely works. Um, I know it's designed for the consumer and I thank you for sending it to me to try out uh, because I like to try out some products like that. You know, I've always steered away from cheaper products. Um, and I know Turtle Wax has been around for a long, long time. And I do remember using it back in the day, my older brother, uh, had this Saab 9000 and uh, it was a pretty awesome car. Uh, I think it was like a late 80s model uh, when I was living back in the city and man we used that turtle wax uh, hard shell in the tub. Man that stuff was a pain to apply and to remove and uh, we put two coats on it and uh, definitely had a hard shell though. Man that, that thing Definitely beaded water for a long time, and it did look really good. It was just a lot of work. So products have come a long way. Using the DA polishers make things so much easier. You can cover larger areas much quicker with better results. Easy on, easy off products. Um, so here's what I'm going to say about this. It definitely works. It removes uh, or at least reduces scratches. You know, you can never always completely remove deep scratches. Sometimes you have to live with them. Word of caution, do not go aggressive with any type of scratch removal product. Um, even if it's just a compound and you're really trying to get that scratch out, don't go too far because you'll compromise the clear coat. Even if you get it out, you might think that you got that scratch out and, and yeah, you probably did, uh, but now you have a couple of microns of clear coat left and in a couple of years or less, uh, it will show and it will start to fail because all of the UV, all of the UV protection is gone. Even if you wax it, um, you really have a thin layer of clear coat and you've compromised it now. So don't go too far. Don't go too aggressive with trying to remove every single mark and scratch out of your paint because you will end up making it worse in the long run. So yeah, the product does work. It removes scratches. It removes swirls. It is considered a compound. It must have some protection in it because it does say it has seal technology. So I don't know what type of protection it does have, but it does have it. It seems logical and reasonable that they would put that in there for consumers. They'll apply this product, scratch is gone or at least reduced to a satisfactory level and the customer is going to leave it like that. So 
good. Put some protection in there because that's what you need. So if you want to try this out for yourself, then definitely do that. If you're a consumer, if you, if you are not a professional detailer and you want some products that will work easily and, and efficiently and effectively, then this will definitely work. Uh, there are many other products out there, but this one you can pick up locally. It's very easy to find. If I do find it on Amazon or eBay, I'll put links down below. Um, if you are interested in any other detailing products or tools, then click up there on the card. That goes directly to a dedicated page on my website that has tools and products where you can just click on those pictures, brings you right to Amazon so you can purchase those products easily. But yeah, guys, this product definitely works. And since I have a whole bottle of it, I'll most likely use it on scratches and things on my own vehicle and put it in the trailer and use it on customers' vehicles at least to get out some heavy scratches and things like that. Um, because basically it's a compound and it works the same way. So yeah, definitely works guys. Thank you Turtle Wax for sending this to me. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share with others who may enjoy it or benefit from it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell. That way you get notifications each time videos like this come out and you don't miss stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great week.